Hi. Uh, well, change of plans this weekend. I was going to do my air spring conversion uh, for the mini mill, but the one that I picked up apparently has some uh, issues with uh, the Fusion CNC kit. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how that's all going to go together with that, so I'm going to hold off on that. Uh, but the good part is I'm going to start the electronics for the uh, for the CNC conversion. All right. I got me uh, my box. Uh, I managed to actually pick this up at my electrical supply house. I was going to use a computer case, but that was getting a little too complicated. So I decided to pick up the, the box, and turns out it was just 40 bucks for this 18 by 18 by 6 box. So I figured I can't beat that. Well, I'm an electrical contractor, so that's probably just contractor pricing. I'm not sure what the regular price is, but um, all right. Okay, um, I'm going to start off by laying out my box, make sure everything's in the right place here. Um, I've got my uh, 36 volt uh, power supply that will drive the stepper motors over here. I'm going to stick that over here. Um, got my 5 volt and 12 volt power supply. Um, that was actually uh, arcade uh, power supply. Uh, they off eBay. This was off eBay too. Um, this is all part of the kit: the 36 volt transformer, uh, the three drivers, the uh, breakout board, and the stepper motors. Uh, that was uh, long motors on uh, eBay. It was like 260 dollars. For the uh, for the kit, um, all right. Well, I think I've got them in the approximate location I'm wanting to put them there. Uh, I just want to do that, make sure I know where everything's going. I think I'm going to put my aviation plugs um, back along over here. So I've got to drill the holes for the aviation plugs. Um, I've got. Four. I'm going to do um, uh, one extra in case I have uh, uh, like a tool chain, auto tool changer or something like that. Um, so I'm going to have four of the four pin. Um, these are actually, these are aviation plugs. These are also um, from eBay. I think they're like eight bucks for a five pack for each of these. This is the four pin. This is the two pin. The four pin is for the motors because the motors have four wires and the two pin are for the limit switches that will go on the mill. Um, so I got those. So I got to put those in there. Um, get the holes drilled for these and this. Uh, get those bolted on. Um, I've got a, I got some spacers for this so I'm actually going to have to cut a slot in the the back of the box and put some spacers up and stick that in right there. Um, I'm gonna leave some room here for like wire management where all the wires will go through. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of wire management that I'm gonna use. May just use some uh, PVC straps to run the wires through. Um, right. Okay, um, I guess that's it. Okay, I'm getting ready to make the holes for the uh, for the aviation plugs. Uh, I just got the box on the ground here. Uh, I just uh, scribed a line on here off the back and uh, measured off. Um, put a little space in between the uh, uh, the four pin plugs and the the two pin plugs, so you can tell the difference uh, looking at it from the back um, but uh, all right okay now I'm making these holes with what's called a, a unibit uh, it's a drill it's got a little step where you can call it a step drill um, they're kind of pricey uh, but as an electrician uh, I use them all the time this is a new one because it's, uh, it's been sharp but uh, basically I'm just gonna drill through and 
and stop every once in a while make sure the thing fits through so I know exactly where to stop on there I don't want to make it too big or too small so right. I drill out from the back side to get any burrs off. If you want to know the size of the hole that I'm drilling, it's actually, uh, I marked it on a little right there as a point not to go past, so it's actually uh, 5 eighths is the size that I'm drilling these holes at for these particular aviation plugs. Well, what I found out works the best when drilling these is to drill it so it's almost all the way through, and then when you turn it around, drill it the rest of the way and it's deburred and it's the right size so okay well I got all the holes made for the aviation plugs now I'm just gonna start drilling the holes for the uh, components inside for mounting those okay well I got the holes drilled for the uh, for the mounting for the inside zoom in a little bit you can see the holes right there uh, but now the tricky part is going to be making the hole for this. Um, I decided instead of trying to make all these various shapes around there, I just get the uh, the measurement from here to here, and just make one rectangle uh, small enough so this doesn't go through. Um, but I, you know, I won't have to worry about. You know, slotting, you know, cutting around this and all that stuff. It'll just be one rectangle, so. Oh, by the way, I've got to use these little standoffs right here underneath the, uh, the, the breakout board. So, when I did the measurements on here uh, to figure out where it was going to go, I had to add that in. Um, I had calculated three-eighths of an inch up from where it's going to be resting but I had to add, add a sixteenth of an inch um, because I'm measuring off the back and it's actually going to be mounted on uh, inside which is actually a sixteenth of an inch higher so okay I got two holes drilled on the ends there uh, kinda eyeballed them to be just inside the uh, the rectangle that I laid out on there just need enough room for me to get the jigsaw blade in there to start cutting. It'll take a little work to to get the exact shape but um, that's what I gotta do. Alright well I couldn't really see what I was doing with the jigsaw through the uh, plastic cover on there so I had to kind of darken in, in the inside so where I can see where I was going. Okay well I finally got that slot made for the uh, parallel port for the breakout board but uh, um, after fitting the th the uh, breakout board through there I realized you actually have to have enough room for this to go through because this actually slips over that so you gotta make sure that this actually fits through there so I think we're good there that took a little little time but it's done now okay so now I gotta figure out how to mount this thing and actually first I gotta figure out how to make the holes in it because uh, you gotta put this in here and 
and you have to be able to mount the holes. Normally I just use a a pointy marker to mark them, but it's so far off that it's uh, hard to get them in there, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to do it the uh, use of the, the drill through method. Of course, I'm going to be drilling through a uh, board here. Probably not the best way to do it, but um, I don't know of any other way to transfer the mark. I suppose I could put uh, something sharp and put some... Oh, that's an idea. Maybe what I'll do is I'll find something sharp and put some marker on there. I wonder if this will go through. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. We're going to do the old ink on the tip of the marker thing and push it and it'll leave some ink on there. So we'll see how this works. I think I'm gonna put a... So I'll just use this of course. Put this down there so I'm not laying this straight on the metal. But, oh, no, I can't do that either. Duh. Alright, well... I guess we'll just have to... See how this works. Try to get a lot of a lot of ink on there and quickly Yep, worked. The same thing again. And a lot of ink on there. Alright, well trying to get these holes back in the corner back here to uh, to mount the the board back here it was a little difficult because you're you know you're drilling on an angle like this and the bit wants to keep going back into the corner like this even with uh, you know I did a center punch on there but you know I kept wandering still so what I ended up having to do is actually stick a wrench back in there like that and kind of drill like that and the wrench kind of kept it in place so it didn't keep wandering back so that's what I ended up having to do to, to get that drilled out okay well I'm putting the screws in from the uh, from the underneath side to uh, so everything can mount in there and uh, in order to keep them in place from falling out when I turn it back over, I'm just putting some electrical tape on there like that. And then uh, once I tighten it up, but I can just take all the tape off. Okay, well, the uh, these are actually slotted on the end like this. Uh, so you can actually just put the nuts on one side already and just slip them under there and just have the nuts ready for that there same thing over there you can't do that back there but okay I got uh, this power supply mounted the three uh, stepper motor drivers uh, this I really figured out how to mount that yet uh, it's got the fan on the top and it's got the switch here was going to go like this but then the little switches on the bottom of course what you have with this little switch is just uh 110 220 it actually came as 220s i had a good thing i had looked uh changed it to 120 and once it's 110 but um so i'm not sure it doesn't really give you any mounting feet or anything it's got holes but they're probably metric um I'm just going to leave it down here like this for now. Uh, I don't know, I see some people use uh, double back sticky tape or something, but um, I'll just leave that for now and figure out what I'm going to do. I guess it's time to put uh, the breakout board in. Okay, well my uh, holes furthest from the, uh, from the inside here were were a little off. They wandered a little bit when I was trying to drill them on an angle before, but uh, I just kind of ovaled them out just by kind of 
running the drill bit and you can just wander it back and forth like this and basically just turns it into a slot and uh, makes it line up. You can see it's like kind of oval now so okay success I got it mounted the breakout board uh, yeah I had to uh, pull these screws out and uh, drop it in the hole and then drop it down into these and then put the uh, standoffs little plastic standoffs under there and then put the nuts in um, you can see underneath a little bit hard to say. Anyways, didn't want to focus. Alright, and I tested this and this does fit, so that's good. Um, I guess the next thing to do is to uh, start doing the aviation plugs and uh, running the wires from the aviation plugs um, over to to the drivers and uh, I gotta get out the wiring diagram and uh, see what all has to do to be done all right okay well I goofed I uh, forgot to make the holes for the uh, emergency stop button and uh, for the uh, plug in the back so I'm gonna have to pull everything back out real quick and put those in uh, I move, may move one of these power supplies over here to keep all of the uh, 120 volt in, in one section also, but, uh, alright. Alright, well I got lucky on my emergency stop button. Uh, I just used one of the, uh, the knockout holes. I just had to knock one of these out. I guess that's one good reason for uh, having holes, but... Um, I think I'd rather not though and just drill this hole if I make another one so okay I've marked out the hole for my uh, plug here that's gonna go like that so I just measured off here made the hole a little better bigger to fit in there easily and uh, I'm gonna cut that out uh, same way I did this one right here and then once I get that in, then I'll mark these holes and drill that out separately. Alright, well to try to give a little more detail about exactly how I'm cutting this out, I covered a little bit on this one, but... Uh, basically I'm just drilling, you drill out a hole on each corner. And that allows you to put the drill in one hole like this cut one way like that which I've already done and then from the same hole allows you to cut again that way that actually cuts out two of the sides and you do the same thing here just cut down here from this hole you cut down here and here and you've got a little bit in the corners you have to clean up and that will give you the uh, rectangular hole. All right, and there we've got our hole. Zoom in a little bit, and the uh, outlet fits in just like that. And I just have to drill two holes right here and screw that on, and that part will be done. Okay, I got everything remounted. Um, I actually decided to move the uh, this power supply over to this side and move them back a little bit um, because I actually want to have my uh, power strip right here because where my power is coming in is right here. Um, also got the uh, test the uh, emergency stop button over here. Um, I just didn't want to cross the 120 volt lines with the rest of the wiring in the junction box. So I'm going to loop, uh, I'm going to come off the, uh, the uh, plug over here, um, come into the terminal blocks here, and from the terminal blocks come into the uh, power supplies over here. All right.